Hey Google, tell me about the Snapdragon 670. Sorry, I can't help with that yet. But I can. Hey guys, Ron here and Qualcomm just announced the Qualcomm Snapdragon 670 mobile platform which is quite surprising because after they announced that 710 I wasn't really expecting the 670 and now they have announced it. So this is what you need to know. So as the name suggests, the Snapdragon 670 sits somewhere between the 660 and the 710 and though it is a 600 series SoC, it literally has more core similarities with the 710. So let's talk about these. Just like the Snapdragon 710, the Snapdragon 670 is built on the 10 nanometer process technology. It has the same cryo 360 cores but the boost clocks are running at a lower clock speed of 2 GHz and the base clocks are basically the same. Also it has the same hexagon 685 DSP, the Spectra 250 ISP and it even has support for Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus. But does that mean that it is an underclocked Snapdragon 710? Well, not quite. Because the GPU and some other peripherals are not the same. There are some big differences. So the GPU is an Adreno 615 and not a 616 that we can find on the 710. So basically it's slightly less powerful than the 616 but it's definitely more powerful compared to the 512 that can be found on the Snapdragon 660. Also the LT modem is an X12 LT modem on the 670. So the downward speeds are slightly slower and the upward speeds are exactly the same as the X15 that we can find in the Snapdragon 710. Also the display support. So the 670 supports up to full HD plus displays where the 710 can support up to Quad HD plus displays. So basically uh, the 710 can support high resolution displays. Now let's talk about the camera resolution. The 670 also supports lower camera resolutions in both single and dual camera configurations compared to the 710. And if these points sound familiar then yes these are exactly the same that we saw on the Snapdragon 660. And now it is safe to say that the 670 is a perfect middleman between the 660 and the 710. Now the Snapdragon 670 powered smartphones will be available sometime later this year. And if you ask me, I am quite glad that uh, Qualcomm announced the 670 because we needed that sweet spot. Mm, uh, let me tell you the reason. Uh, the 670 will be priced cheaper compared to the 710. And if you remember, this is why the Snapdragon 636 got more attention by the customers and even by the OEMs of the smartphones. Because it was cheaper. And I'm seeing that same factor for the Snapdragon 670. So basically it will probably end up gaining more attention compared to the 710 because it has a small number of compromises over the 710 and it offers some more especially that 10 nanometer process technology is trickling down to mainstream mid-range smartphones. So that's a huge thing. But uh, I will not recommend you to switch to the Snapdragon 670 if you already have a 660 power device. Don't even think of switching, it's not worth it. But if you have a Snapdragon 625 or maybe even a Snapdragon 636 powered device, uh, yeah, you, I mean, that seems fair. You can go for the Snapdragon 670 and I am definitely excited for the Snapdragon 670. I want to see how it performs in real life. What is the actual performance difference with the Snapdragon 710 and I will be testing it as soon as I get my hands on a Snapdragon 670 power smartphone. So that's literally it for this video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the Snapdragon 670. Do you think it's exciting? Do you think it's just a waste of time? Or I mean 
वट एवर यू थिंक लेट मी नो इन द कॉन्वर्सेशन बिलो लीव अ लाइक इफ यू थिंक दैट दिस वीडियो हैज हेल्प यू अ लिटल बिट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाइट सिक्स सेवेंटी एंड डेफिनेटली सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल बिकॉज एज आई मैंशन वी आर एट अ बिगिनिंग फेज ऑफ दिस चैनल दिस इज ओनली द सेकेंड मेन स्ट्रीम वीडियो आई एम मेकिंग ऑन दिस चैनल सो यूर सब्सक्रिप्शन विल हेल्प मी अ लॉट also share this video with anyone you think will be interested in the snapdragon 670 so that's it for this one guys uh, definitely keep an eye on this space because more interesting content is coming soon and you have to keep coming back because here technology has no limits